What's up everyone? It's Wednesday, June 30th, 2021, 1.30 in the afternoon, and it's 93 degrees Fahrenheit, 34 Celsius. So not exactly a cool day. I am in Brooklyn at the Kings Highway subway station on the letter N line. And in this video, I'm going to be walking this street in Brooklyn. Let's get out of the subway station first. I'll tell you a little bit of history about Kings Highway. But Kings Highway is a major street in Brooklyn, has a lot of history. It was originally a Indian trail and it was known as Mecca Wanek or the ancient pathway. And it was unnamed throughout parts of its history. Here we are at West 8th Street. And this over here is West 7th Street. But Kings Highway as it is today isn't the same Kings Highway from its early beginnings because the original route of Kings Highway started at the Fulton Ferry Landing where Brooklyn Bridge Park is today. And um, it actually goes to where Flatbush Avenue is currently. So that was the original path of the Kings Highway. And then it snaked around and the other terminus of Kings Highway was Fort Hamilton near where Bay Ridge is today. And parts of that old road where Fort Hamilton uh, was is now known as Fort Hamilton uh, Parkway. Also, the reason why it's called King's Highway is because it was named after the county. Brooklyn is also known as King's County. And King's County was named after King Charles II of England. But King's Highway previously connected a lot of different towns and places in Brooklyn. It didn't always used to be known as Brooklyn. There were even Dutch places like New Amser Fort that are connected and the Flatlands neighborhood. Flatlands is where uh, Kings Highway terminates today. Well, let's get this walk started. We'll actually continue on this walk. There's Italia Pizza at West 6th Street. This highway actually varies between residential and commercial. There's also a huge section of Kings Highway in the Flatbush area where there's a lot of West Indies and Caribbean um, fare and restaurants. Over here we get a little bit more of a mix of places, grocery stores, Chinese, Mexican, Italian. I still find it so cool that this used to be a old Indian trail. And when it was unnamed, many of the towns that it ran through, it was just known as lane or road. The other main street that's well known to be an Indian trail is Manhattan's Broadway. See, there's a wide variety of places here, pharmacies, discount store here, 99 cents. And 
that's the B82 bus, bus which travels on Kings Highway. There's a limited uh, B82 bus and also a regular B82 bus. The limited will just stop uh, less frequently. It's a pretty large Dunkin' Donuts over to the left here. At first glance, I thought it even had a drive-through, but it doesn't seem like it does. Here's West 3rd Street. That Kent, is that yours? Yes, that's me! I'm walking King's Highway today. Take it easy, man. Look out for the video when I post it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got noticed. And this wasn't even planned out. I didn't say I was going to come here or anything. Of course, a New York City video isn't complete without some construction and some scaffolding here. This is a residential building that's going up. Look at this, this is an interesting street. King's Highway and King's Place. And King's Place is a dead end. That in front of me is the F train. A lot of locals joke about the F train and says it gets an F for service. Over here we got Cafe Europa. Seems like a pretty popular spot with these people. Avocados Mexican Grill. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Seems pretty good. Over to my right, we've got the appliance store, PC Richard and Son. I've gotten a lot of appliances over the years from PC Richard and Son. And their slogan is, Richard is reliable, and uh, I think I could attest to that.
Here's another 99 cent store. King's Deal, 99 cents. And as I said earlier, here's the F train station, the King's Highway station at McDonald Avenue. Oh, this is a select bus station. I said it was a limited bus before, but it's a select bus, which is different because you pay before you get on. But they still make less stops than the regular bus. Let's go around these Verizon vehicles. Here's McDonald Avenue. I always find this elevated train structure to be desperately in need of a paint job. Seems like the F train's running pretty well today. Another pizzeria. Minestrone and chicken soup, each for $3. There's a lot of pizzerias around here. Whenever you look up a pizza review or best pizza in New York City, Brooklyn usually comes out on number one. But in my experience, all the boroughs have good pizza. With the exception of Staten Island, because not because I don't know if Staten Island pizza is good, because I haven't tried the pizza there. But I've had Queens pizza, I've had Brooklyn pizza, I've had Manhattan pizza, and Bronx pizza. And they're all delicious. Just depends which store you go to. But I would think Staten Island pizza is pretty good too. Here's a shop called Vanilla Sky, although doesn't look like it's open. The juice theory is open. Right now it's a little bit slow here because it is the middle of the day and it's super hot out. So I don't think many people are going to be walking out in this kind of hot weather. Look at that, there's a kosher fish, fish market across the street. Retail and wholesale. Adam's Deli. Here's a bakery called the Kingsway. I see people here, they really like the King's name. So they name it in front of most of their businesses. Or a good majority of the businesses, I should say. We got King's 99 cents, Kingsway. I think it was a King Deli too. So uh, if I want to continue on King's Highway, I have to go this way towards the left. To the right goes towards Ocean Parkway. To the north. Got another pizzeria, Slices Brooklyn. There's a kosher pizzeria.
Brooklyn has a large Jewish population. In fact, it is the largest Jewish population outside of Israel. There's Angelina Nail. Many of these places have their curtains up or their shades slided over because the sun's just so strong today. There's a medical building. Orthodontics, eye care, neurology. With a large population, you need good doctors. So here's Ocean Parkway. This street is very busy. It goes all the way to Coney Island on one side and then the other side it's um, Prospect Expressway near Prospect Park. And Ocean Parkway also features the first ever bike lane in the United States. All right, I just crossed over most of Ocean Parkway. had to interrupt the cont continuity of the video a little bit because my phone is overheating. I forgot to bring my other camera, but you know it's a hot day when your phone tells you it's too hot to use the camera and it needs to cool down. But maybe I'll end this walk a little bit short because of that. I'll head over to probably Coney Island Avenue as the uh, end point. I was hoping to get to um, East 16th Street where the B and Q train is, but I don't want to push the limits of this phone or damage it. Oh, here's a sushi place. Sushi Tokyo. This looks like to be an old cinema. I don't even know if this is still in existence or not. Here's Kosher Hut of Brooklyn. Yeah, I don't think the cinema's here anymore at all. Here we've got Mirage Diner, seafood, steaks, and saute. Looks to be pretty busy. There's even cars parked on the sidewalk here, or partially in the sidewalk. Cafe Renaissance.
local grocery store to my left. This place is Georgian cuisine. And my phone overheated again. Darn it. Well, um, I don't want to keep doing this game of starting the camera again and then wait, waiting for it to cool down. So I think I'll just end the video here. It's unfortunate that I couldn't show you the entire walk that I wanted, but at least you get most of the gist of it. Coney Island Avenue is only like two blocks away, but it is one of the main streets in Brooklyn with its end point in Coney Island. But if you enjoy this video, smash the like button for me, subscribe for some more videos like these, and I'll see you next time. Take care everyone, bye bye.